Your hot water tank, depending on which model you've purchased, may be located at the back of the trailer or over on the driver's side of the trailer. Um, if you want to run it on electricity, you simply turn the little tab sideways, give it a gentle push. Now I'm doing this one-handed so it's a little easier. You can lift up the screen and put it off to the side. When you want to turn it on, there is a little switch, typically behind a small piece of marking tape here. You can see it says on and off. You would turn it to the on position. That will turn on the electric heater on the tank. Now, what you want to make sure is that the tank is filled with water, that you've either put water in your fresh water tank and turned on the pump and pressurized the system, or that you're hooked up to a garden hose. A good way to check, right here we have a pressure relief valve. If there's water in the system, you simply pull that little lever up and water will leak out of here. Technically, it'll spray out of there if you have the right pressure. So you can push that, you know that there's water. If it does what it's doing now, nothing coming out, there's no water, do not turn that electric switch on. It will burn out the element in under 30 seconds. It is that quick to burn out. So please do not turn it on until you've confirmed you have water in the tank. Um, also, you can use this if a number of people are taking showers. You can turn the electricity and the gas on at the same time and it will increase the amount of, or what we call the refresh rate, the amount of hot water being heated up in your hot water tank.